Existence Macro, a macro similar to Natural. Keep in mind this macro is still a work in progress and may be buggy. This video is for MacBooks with an Intel Core. Watch the other video if you have an M1 or M2 Mac. Firstly, you will need to install Python 3.8 or 3.95. So, for macOS versions 12.0 and higher, you'll have to install Python 3.95. So once you click this link, I'll have the links in the description, scroll all the way down to the bottom, and then install this one, Mac OS 64-bit Intel installer. If you have a MacBook that's lower than 12.0, click this link, and it'll direct you to this page, which is Python 3.8. Install this one. Once you follow through with those, you can go on to the next step, but I would recommend you to update your Mac to 12.0 or higher since it'll be better. Okay, so now you need to make sure that your Mac Pro has permissions. So you have to open System Preferences and go to Security and Privacy. Let's wait for this. Okay, so once you're here, the MacBook will need no, the terminal will need permission to accessibility, full disk access, screen recording, and automation. Automation may not show up until you actually run the macro, but it'll give you, it'll prompt you to give it permission. Okay, so once you've done that, you have to run a bunch of commands to install Python packages. So in terminal, you'll have to run these commands. I'll have them in the description. And yeah. Okay, so once you're in terminal, you'll have to run these commands. I've already done it since I have the macro, but yeah. So you'd have to run these commands. Once you run this one, it'll prompt you to do this one. You have to enter in your password to authenticate you installing some installing a Python package. Then you'll have to run this command for the webhook. After that, you'll have to run these commands. I'll have them in the description. And then this one, finally. Okay, so once you've done that, you're fairly close to actually completing the macro setup. So you'll have to click this link. I'll have in the description. And now, here's where you actually install the macro. So let's wait for this to load. Okay. So here, and you have to download the zip version of this. Okay, so once it does that, you have to open it and unpack it. And then drag that from downloads. You have to unpack this, but I already have one. Drag it to desktop. And after you've done that, close this and open terminal. And now run the command cd desktop slash bss net dash macro dash py dash main and then after that is done run python 3 e underscore macro dot py and your macro will be starting shortly I'll have these commands in the description if you need them and congratulations, your macro has been successfully set up. Be sure does take a bit to load. Okay, so once it finally loads, here are the settings you'll need for BSORM. Okay, so once you open those settings, you'll have to have the classic camera mode, shift lock switch off, the default keyboard, and camera sensitivity all the way at 1. And your graphics mode, the graphics quality should be manual and the lowest, so the macro can run with the highest FPS possible. Okay, so once you do that, uh, gather, you can set up all of this and anything else you would want. Set up your high slot and that. Okay, so here's another difference with this and natural. Before you actually run the macro, 
you'll have to calibrate Hive. So basically what this does is it, you know, calibrates Hive. So you have to wait for this to run. And then once it tabs out you out of Roblox, press the start button and go back to Roblox and full screen. But for calibration, you'll also need full screen. And that's it. There you have it. The Mac will run just like that. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you.